Hey guys, Mr. Lindy again here. Uh, today we're going to talk about adding fractions. But the difference is they have unlike denominators. So it's what you would do in the fourth grade. I know that you did. You added one-third plus one-third, and you know that your answer was two-thirds. Now that's very simple, and you can just tell that you know the denominators are the same, and you can add. Now what we're going to talk about today is if you have one-third, and you have to add a fourth to it as well. So you have one-fourth plus one-third. And now we've already talked about common denominators, and the, the thing important about those is, is that you cannot add one third plus one fourth unless you make them have a common denominator. So we got to go back to remembering what we do to find a common denominator. So we're going to make our list of threes and fours. So three, six, nine, twelve. Let's count by fours. Four, eight, twelve. There's our uh, twelve. So it looks like we're going to change them to twelves. So what I do is I put them below here and I put my addition sign in the middle. Remind me that I'm adding. Up here to three times something equals 12, so I know it's three times four. And going with Lindy's law, or you have to think about that, and it is whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. So if the, the denominator is times four, then we have to multiply the numerator times four. So this is, so one third becomes four twelfths. Now we go over to the other one, and we have this four, and a four has to equal a 12. So four times something, and we know four times three equals 12. So whatever you do at the bottom, you have to do the top. So one times three is three. Now we have our new problem. And I'm just going to erase this little arrow right here. And uh, now we have our new problem. And we do not add the denominators. Please do not make that, that mistake when you're adding them. So now we have the 12th stay on the bottom, and you have 4 plus 3 is 7. So actually, 1 third plus 1 fourth equals 7 twelfths. That is our answer. All right. And we're going to take a look at the next one. The next one is 4 tenths plus 2 sixths. Now we have two different numbers. These are a little bit different. Let's, let's go over and we have to find our common denominator. Let's go ahead and make a list of our tens. 10, 20, 30. Let's do sixes. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. There they are. Looks like they're changing to 30, guys. So down here, I'm going to do it. Change that one to a 30, and this one to a 30. Once again, I have to ask myself, how many times 10 times what equals 30? I know it's 10 times 3. So now we have to do 4 times 3, because whatever you do to the denominator, you have to do to the numerator. So 4 times 3 is 12. So 12 30ths equals 4 tenths. Now we're going to go over to the 2 6 and we're going to say this 6 right here has to equal this 30 down here. So 6 times something equals 30. I know it's 6 times 5. And 6 times 5, if you do the denominator times 5, you have to do the numerator times 5. So 2 times 5 is 10. So 2 sixths equals 10 thirtieths. Now all you have to do is add straight across. You have 12 plus 10 is 22. And then you keep the denominator the same. There is your answer. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and give it one more try for you, one more right here. We're going to go one half plus three sevenths. And let's go look at here. We have to find a common denominator. We have two and seven, so two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, and then do your seven, seven, and fourteen. Looks like 14 is our common denominator, so we have to change it. We're going to go over here and make this a 14, and this one a 14, our plus sign's in the middle. And I know 2 times 7 equals 14, so times 7 here we have 7 fourteenths. And then 7 times 2 equals 14, so 3 times 2 equals 6. This one's really close to a whole because 7 plus 6 is 13, and 13 fourteenths. We are very, very close to a whole number right there. Okay, um, I am actually going to do one more for you, and this one is one that is going to show a weird answer, and you may run into this. If you have one half and you have three fourths, 
Now I just pick the two denominators that are simple to uh, choose. I know that I'm going to keep the three fourths the same because the denominator is four. We're going to make four. One half actually equals two fourths. So when I add this one together, I'm going to get an answer of five fourths. If you notice, the numerator is actually bigger than the denominator. This actually means that I have more than one whole. As we move on uh, in future classes, we're going to learn how to discuss this answer and simplify it and make it easier to read. But if you, if you do see something where you have a, a numerator that's bigger than a denominator, it's okay as long as you change the fractions the right way. Okay, guys, I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a good night. Hope this wasn't uh, too hard for you. See you tomorrow.